We are live. Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, brothers and sisters, to another Flavor Profile. We are at episode 12. Can you believe that? Episode 12. Mm. And today in the kitchen, we have Sherry. Sherry will be making pork stew. I to say pork stew that Lisa made last week, but this time with a different set of peppers. I realized after I told you that I was going to do that, that it's, it, it's, it's the same kind of pork stew. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> radishes for the boy. Uh, I don't know. Going to, I was gonna eat radishes, but um. So you, so Sherry, you can start telling us what's happening in the kitchen. So, um, <laughs> right now I'm chopping up these guys. These are Anaheim chilies. Uh huh. Um, so the thing with the, the one that Lisa made, we're making a okay. chili pork stew. And I think okay. Lisa made that pork stew one time too. I'm not sure if it was pork stew. I'm not sure. Yeah, that, man, that... it was pork stew, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she made the tomatillos and... Oh, so you're making the version without the tomatillos. Yeah, I'm making the version that isn't as sour because the tomatillos... Heavy. This one is more pepper heavy. Right. Um, pepper forward. So pepper forward is the right way to to say that like the one that she made was sour okay one, it's not necessarily heat but it's more the flavor of the peppers than the flavor of the tomatillos which is like a sour tomato mm, okay which are lovely yeah but this is i feel like if that one is a bright stew that lisa made this one is a warmer stew uh -uh. understood understood so we got um, tortillas in our farm box mm -hmm. yesterday. I keep thinking that we need to, and I could have done this yesterday um, while I was waiting an hour and a half to pick up for Harrison to come out. We need to bring those bags back. Um, we keep forgetting to put our farm bag bags back outside so that they can exchange them out. But anyway, the first time we forgot. I, no, I had to run her time. down. I had to run her down last week. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> produce in these reusable bags and right. we're supposed to leave the bag outside so that you know contactless exchange because i mean you know like tell the people where you are right now mm -hmm. Under lockdown. well i'm i'm in c4 one of the communities on lockdown in jamaica now <laughs> yeah so you know you, you don't really, people not really expecting to have contact with you. They're very annoyed when you come running outside with the bag that should have been outside. You're waiting for them. Right. Um, so now we have two bags. Um, but one of us, either when we drop Harrison off or pick him up, should just go over there and give them both bags. Okay. Anyway, that was what I was trying to tell you about the farm box. Um, I need about a cup and a half of these. And... Um, I'm almost there. I'm gonna finish cutting this guy. Turns out we only needed three, um, three Anaheim chili peppers. So what goes really well with these is flour tortillas, mm -hmm. um, which came in the farm box. Um, what are you drinking? I'm still drinking the cold tea from this morning. Oh, okay, just checking. I'm just checking. <laughs> pina colada shortly. But apparently I'm making pina colada shortly. I may also make a margarita for myself. I was thinking too, like we could stop, I mean, we might be here all day. So this is, we should stop and start another one in case I decide to make gizadas so that it's not just like one long. Because <laughs> I bought some, I bought some shredded, um, bought some shredded coconut and have some pie crust in the freezer so we could totally make gizadas, right? Yeah, um, just tell me when. We'll just wrap out this one and then start, and start another one. Yeah, yes. right. We could do that. Um, yes. But also, like the beverage portion, because like it takes a little while to cook the pork. So in between making, in between spaces of it. So yeah, we got these tortillas. Sorry, Lola. Lola, how come you're underfoot? What do you need? Um, I'll show them to you. I'm cutting up watermelon in a freezer bag. Because we, okay. we sort of had some of the watermelon, but it was too much watermelon. So I'm putting the chunks in the freezer bag, and I'm going to freeze it. And then later you can put it in the blender with a bottle of rosé and make rosé. Ah. So, tortillas. Tortillas, tortillas. de harina. 
Uh -huh. These are flour tortillas from Torteria. Torteria El Patron is a place that makes tortillas here in Colombia. So like a mom and pop situation. It was really kind of great to see them inside the farm box because it means that they are supplying places like the root cellar where we get our farm box from. Uh -huh. um, so that came and when Lisa made hers, can you still hear me? Yes. While I shut things in back into the fridge. When Lisa made hers, it's like every time if you eat this chili, if you eat this green chili stew, you might want a tortilla with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like if you eat if you eat a curry, you might want a white rice with it. Right, you know I mean? right, 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 right. So as soon as we saw it in the box, I thought, okay, we should make green chili stew this weekend. So mm -hmm. that's. That is what we are doing. So how has lockdown been? Um, for me, it's, you know, it's the weekend. I usually go into Kingston, but uh, Kingston is also going to be on lockdown as of today. So it's curfew though, not like, not like this 24 seven thing that. I think so, because it, it's gonna be from seven until five. Seven, a.m. until seven, five, seven no, p.m. seven p.m. until five. five so. No man, that's a curfew. That's not a lot, though. Well, I mean, yeah, it sounds like a little bit. It's different because it's you can't not a strict. No. You can't well, we can, busy. we can, we can. It's just we can't go very far out of the community. Okay. <laughs> but I'm I'm used to being more of a at home, especially when I don't have like a shoot. So this is this is fine so you don't have to say what shoot it was but you were just on a shoot right how was that yeah it was fun it was good it was nice vibe nice it was a nice balance of men and women on set so yeah. and okay. the energy was the energy was good so yeah it was it was good it looked like it was a fun set too like being out on the boat and yeah, I mean, beach, production I is always nice, <laughs> you know, even with all of the the restrictions and things that you could use or whatever, you know, it's always nice. Andy is trying to show you something. I'm going to put this back over here. Just briefly. So you missed last night. We had Detroit style pizzas. Okay. Um, you uh, see they're square. Yes. Because actually, like, the origin is that they were made in auto parts pans. Okay. Like that, they're not auto parts pans, but you know, clean auto right, parts pans. Right, right, right. Yes. And so they come out square. Um, and so we ordered this from a place outside of Detroit. And um, so Sherry and Lisa did not like it very much because it's very sort of, as you can see, heavy on the crust component. It's like yeah. bread with tomato sauce on it. It's like bread uh, with tomato sauce. Um, but you know, that's part of it. Like they, they do a good job with the bread here. So it's like, it's kind of caramelized on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then very soft and chewy inside. Mm -hmm. But if you don't like crust, then it's not the pizza for you. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thick on the crust, eh? Yeah. Even Harrison, even Harrison, who usually like will put down, Harrison will put down like two slices of um of pizza tree pizza. Him, like. No, the crust is usually thin. Yeah. Thinner. Yeah, like all uh, 32 pounds of it. They maybe weigh more than 32 pounds. Um, <laughs> mm. But he may usually eat. He likes pizza, but he didn't even finish a slice of this. Ooh. He never finished it. He's, he's very discerning. For a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had Detroit pizza with me last year in Chicago. He was a different person then. <laughs> Way different. Well, unless it's more discernment about cars. Like, he used to just be like anything that was cars. So all, all right. So, what I'm working on here that I can't, like, I'm not going to move the phone while I'm handling the meat. Right. But I have about 3.3. 3, <laughs> it's a meatloaf. Cucumber. Three pounds of a Boston pork roast. It's boneless. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cube it, slice mm -hmm. it up into cubes. Mm -hmm. And then um, season it with salt and pepper and brown it before we start the stew going. Right. Because you know, caramelize is a good word in cooking. If you can get a little bit of caramelization going um, before you start the 
heating process. The heating process, you get like a nice, a nice flavor thing going on with the the meat, whatever meat or thing you're cooking. Um, right. It, it, it adds depth to the flavor. So. I remember to take pictures so I can use it as a thumbnail for the the video. You have to remind me a couple of times because you know it's in my head now. <laughs> right, okay. My head now, so. All right, how many last slice this now? Oh, so I'd, I'd let this come down here so that you could see what I was doing. This way. There yes, I can see you. Here we go. Uh -huh. You're not really up in my mouth the whole time. So now I don't really know how many last slice. <laughs> I thought this was rolled up. Sometimes when you get these in the netting, they're rolled up. Um, but this one isn't rolled up, so it's a little bit more complicated to cut it. But I'm going to do it this way. OK. Cut it into cubes. And I was thinking about doing this in the instant pot, but I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way this time. Um, so usually, the bread, this recipe that we use, um, is a non-instant pot recipe, but we're starting with enough time on the day that we could let it cook like regular. So what uh, are you having for dinner over there today? Um, mommy is making dal. Oh, yeah. That's nice. The grocery thing got sorted out last night. Yeah, yeah, we got it, and everything was all right. I mean, okay. some of the the, the quantities were a bit much. I mean, the brand, the, the, the brands are the same, but they bought like big, bigger packages, which is fine because we might need which them. Which is fine. We don't, know. <laughs> we don't know how long this is going to last beyond the, the first two weeks. So it's not gonna last longer than the two weeks. They tend not to. Um, I haven't seen them um extend any community lockdowns since this happened. Like once the lockdown happens and then test everybody that need to be tested and people people do what they need to do then you know then yeah, but, not back yeah well we'll we'll have an opportunity to go out and vote on the the third because it but will be lifted right, on the second to vote. How am I, gonna manage that, Alison? I don't know but they have they have their precautions that they're taking social distancing sanitizing and whatnot but We'll see. That's and gonna it, take forever. I think the process is gonna take maybe a little bit longer because you have to after everybody uses the pencil, you have to sanitize. Yeah, sanitize. After everybody uses the booth, you have to sanitize. So yeah. So we we um we went through a primary election here too, um recently, and they weren't sanitizing, but they were social distancing. Right. Um. So. It wasn't like, so how did, like, we get a ballot? I'm trying to remember what it did look like when I did vote in the Jamaican election one time. You get a ballot and then you put the ballot in the machine. It's not, it's not a machine, it's a box. It's an actual box where people go and take out and count manually, right? Yeah, it's a box. Yeah, so it's like a fill in the bubble um, thing. It's like shading the, ex, eh? the, the bell or the head. Yeah. <laughs> Just shading. Yeah. Or um, or an X. Come post all of that. No man. I'm a good good cucumber from from the garden yeah, that's just off. No, I don't think I'm gonna you finished knitting? Yeah. Will you tell daddy thank you? Forgot. You forgot? Well, you can tell them thank you now. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, you can tell. <laughs> oh, this is a fatty piece. Look at this bowl is too small. I'm gonna pick this up out of the compost. <laughs> Well, everything in there should be biodegradable, so you should be okay. <laughs> it really was up on the, on the melon. It never really touched anything when never fresh. So, so darling, what are we making? Rice. 
I think she had she I made some a boiled two pieces of yam for her last night that she didn't eat. Oh, she so said she, she had banana. Yeah, I made the boiled banana with yam, but she only had, had the bananas. Okay. Oh yeah, you make corned beef and cabbage. Me and daddy. You, are, you and daddy. Yeah, we and daddy. Daddy made the, the corned beef and cabbage, and I made the rice and the banana. And yeah. <laughs> Collaborative boy, oh, we can't see no, oh, we can't see no, um, no flavor profile with you and daddy. Big, well, I mean, inter well, I know that mommy isn't very fond of it, that's for sure. I, but, um, fond of, what? fond of the idea of being shot while she's cooking. Oh, get us up to catch her at the right time. Yeah, so I think she just woke up from a nap now, just now, so. Where is daddy? He just came out of the shower. Wait, man, did my wash after us? Yeah, he was he was cleaning the house earlier. Oh yeah, because Miss Anna can't come, right? Yeah, so he was doing some cleaning up and you know. So we try if we just kinda take off some of the shouting after the place. Sounds good. So lot no, not so bad. Bad, but it's not so bad. No, I think it's gonna drive them crazy because they like to, and I think that's probably why he got up and clean because he needed to be active. He needed to do something. Yeah. I think I, I think it's going to mess with him a little bit mentally. Yeah, the staying at home thing isn't isn't their jam at all. No, not at all. Because they have they had plans to do some work on the farm and that can happen again and so I'm gonna season this with some salt, two teaspoons, um, um some fresh ground pepper, and then according to the instructions. Um, oh, you know what? Me not cut up, Alice. Eh? What's that? Me not cut up my onion. It have garlic in it too. Yeah, onion and garlic. Me cut up everything but onion and garlic. Okay. Before I brown this, then let me just cut up those things too. Mix up this. I guess we can just let it sit a little bit in the in the salt and the pepper. So what have you been watching on lockdown? I think uh well mostly black lightning. I'm on the last I'm on the third and last season that's available now. Oh. So, so what's about now um it's about uh african-american superheroes and enhanced humans and experimentations and mutations <laughs> you know it, i mean it's predominantly about a black superhero and his family yeah, and the last one we saw which is pretty um pretty early and everything the last one we saw was when the older daughter discovered her abilities yeah yeah and yeah, that's pretty early <laughs> yeah <laughs> does the younger one end up with any abilities yes yeah i figured as much yeah i don't know like we got busy or something so we didn't we only watched maybe Mm. and then yeah it's three oh, seasons and season two is like 15 16 episodes so whoa, you, that's yeah. a lot of episodes yeah you have to be ready and each each episode is like 45 minutes so yeah you yeah, have to be committed uh, that's a chunk of time <laughs> yeah you have to be committed so, anything else that you've been watching have you seen anything cool on movie 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, there. Well, I posted a couple of them. Like one day, I just sat down and I was watching. Like, I watched like three of them. I watched a documentary on the Ugandan leader there. Um, what's his name? Idi Amin. Yeah, Idi Amin Dada. Um, and I have them here. Hang on. And. Uh, there was this movie, but this one, this one I watched on Criterion within our gates. So, so I think it's the first African American feature film from 1920. Oh yeah, the Milieu, Mi Show. Yeah. I meant to tell you if you did like it, you would want to. There's a book that came out last year, Saidia Hartman's Wayward Lives. Mm-hmm. Like that was that book. That was the book that I read where um, I learned about Oscar Michaud. Okay. So it was okay. a silent film. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of it? I mean, it, it, the, the 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 issues that African Americans had in 1920, they still have them today. <laughs> you know. Yeah. They still have them today. So it's it it was a reflection of the time. It's it's today. It's it's still applicable today. Yeah. What do you think about like the filmmaking stuff? As in the, like that sort of thing was intro like was 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 at work in the twenties. In in terms of what well, like the the technical side of things? Yeah. Um I imagine even then it would have been costly to do something of that magnitude. Uh -huh. And even then, it would still need a commitment from. I'm I'm not sure what his if he had a budget or if everybody was just kind of doing it because, hey, we need to be represented. But they had a patronage uh, system. Okay. It was like a patronage. Usually, uh, and I don't know what's the case with Michelle, but like artists in the twenties often had a white patron who was interested in African-American art, the art that they produced, lots of poets, lots of writers. Right. I'd be surprised that like filmmakers too had that. So someone else was sort of underwriting the right. that, process. I mean, that, and, and that is still today. You know, if you're <laughs> it's still, I mean, they call them studios now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, That's interesting. So you think about studios as a patronage system? Um. Well, I mean, the studio system is kind of evolving now because everybody's kind of doing their own thing. In like, they, everybody's you know, there are a lot of independent filmmakers and films. That the studio system now is, it's I guess it's it's not as everybody's not trying to, oh, I must work with that studio. No, everybody, you can do your own thing. You want to work with that director more than anything, right? Well, not even the director, because usually the directors, the directors are doing their own things as well. So yeah. it, it, like the studios kind of now have to fight for, you know, like the chance to make movies. Yeah, you want to, if you, if you, you have a studio behind your project and you can, get a couple million dollars to get it done and distributed and all of that. Of course, why not? <laughs> you know, but um, there are ways to get it done on your own now. Yeah, I think too, because things like Netflix, streaming platforms, like the ones that we were talking about, so like Mubi and Netflix and- Yeah, they are also know. investing in their own content, so for their yeah, platform. Canopy. Kino Lorber has his own. Um, that's how we saw this movie, Baccarat. You should. I wonder if Baccarat is in. Where did Baccarat got, get released recently, Andy? Was it still on Kino Lorber's platform or was it like on. Criterion this Look out for um, Baccarat on. Mm -hmm. um, Criterion? Criterion, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look for it. Next time you're going to watch a movie, you should watch um, Baccarat. Baccarat. Well, let's see. I can pull it up now. That one, I think I'm still shook from that one. Baka Criterion Channel. Yeah, so like this guy, Kino Lorber, too, has his own 
So when um, everything shut down and Ragtag, the art film house, the art house film, the art house cinema here in Colombia was trying to sort of figure out content and they did an, a cinema at home. Uh -huh. of course, one of the first features that they did was Baccarat through Kino Lorber's um, platform. And so like, I think COVID too is going to change the studio system a lot as well. How do you spell Baccarat? Especially in terms of where things are gonna go after they get made. You find it? Spell Baccarat, spell it. B-A-C-C-A-R-A-U. Oh, oh, it's one C B A C U R A U. Yeah, it's one C. Sorry. Yeah. There are some interesting things coming out of Brazil, and well, I mean, as usual, France. We know that, but like Brazil. Yeah, no, Brazil has some really interesting. We've been watching a lot of films recommended by our friend. Um, Nacho, Nacho's name is Ignacio Sanchez Prado. He is a um, Mexicanist, but he is like really smart about everything, including films. And so, like, um, a lot of the Latin American things that you see us watching are on his recommendation. So, Baccarat, um, we even though we saw it, um, even though we saw it through Ragtag, it was one that he was also um, recommending talking about he's just like you guys need to watch it because we almost missed it right and he was just like no you gotta you gotta prioritize prioritize I'll, I'll watch it i'll watch it tonight i'll watch it later daddy Sorry. might like it huh daddy might like it okay that, that is a weird kind of action action team okay Okay. Yeah. Weird kind of action thing. All right, we're gonna move it over here because I think I've cut everything that I need to finally. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna start doing the the stove part. Yeah, he, he recommended one for us too that was by Curon, Alfonso Curon, the guy who did Roma. Yes. Um, this is not the cover for this. Huh? Last night that we watched. And... It was so, it was like a screwball comedy, but what was really fascinating about it was like that airplane scene. You see mm -hmm. how Roma is a, is like a compendium or like Roma has, it's like a collage of all the other um, Kiran movies. So mm -hmm. like the super serious movie has like callbacks to the screwball ones. Right, 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 right. So that's also the, the cheesy low budget movie that they've seen that's Gravity. Oh yeah, there's also Gravity, right? He did. Yeah, he I remember also, Gravity. He me something, he did a Harry Potter. The prisoner of Azkaban. 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 <laughs> he did the prisoner of Azkaban too. Um, but like you watch this particular movie and you're just kind of surprised. It's such a silly movie. Um, it's interesting and it's funny, but it's also just like, geez, this guy who has serious, serious auteur chops, you know, mm -hmm. made this this nutty movie. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a Harrison butt, that was a Harrison back. Okay. All right, so we are going into the part where we're going to brown brown the pork that we had put in um salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some vegetable oil. One tablespoon vegetable oil. Maybe I should put this on a stack. Let's No, like you look like you lose you. You lose your arm, your way. You just. I think Nola is also sort of having a little bit of a a weird time with with us 
shifting what became a routine when we all went on lockdown. Andy and Lisa um, have started going back into the office. Mm -hmm. And so Lola is a little bit. Maybe a pina colada would calm her down. Maybe a pina colada would calm Lola down. Kristen, do you want a pina colada? Well, everybody has to wait. Everybody has to wait until. Oi, what, what happened here, Everybody has to wait until I finish doing the cooking part of things because that is what is important. May I try to get you to sit inside of the pot, but I mean, that's good there right there. There we go. Oh, take that squirrel. Take that squirrel, but out of my face. Like, what is going on over there? All right. Ba -dum, ba -dum. But it lean, don't it? A little. But the framing is good. So if you could just straighten it. <laughs> that's a lot to ask. Well, I mean, it's fine then. Though. I mean, if you can't get it any better than that, then that's fine. Okay, that's straighter. How's that? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Can we try to prep now? Lean again, Alice. Lean again, don't it? <laughs> it's fine. Just do what you do. Try, try to be professional, you know? Try to be professional. Try to be professional. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's the best. All right. One tablespoon of... I want to tell most of them. We must cook them in batches. So I'm gonna cook this in batches. So I'm not gonna crowd them in the pot so that they can get caramelized. Um, start up the flavor. That is hot. Let me test the water, the oil. You know, you test the oil. How do you test oil? You flick just a tiny. You saw what I just did? Is it water that you flick in the pot? Yeah. Does no, you're a mad man. You can't <laughs> flick water. If you put the one piece of the onion or piece of your seasoning in it. I have a little bit of. Um, I mean, I said splash water in it. Like, after you wash your hands and you have like a two drop leave on your fingers, you flick that. Oh, yeah. You know on. Right. Don't make it not set ready. <laughs> I mean, I have no onion to use right now because I burn me a brown meat. All right, five minutes. Let me do it. Cancel. Let me go. Turn it up a little bit, and I'm going to two point five. Two minutes and 30 seconds on each side, then I'm going to flip them and do the other half on the other side. It's very nice over there. Um, okay. But maybe I could actually. Um... No, I'm going to start making more pina colada just yet. Because I have things that are there. So. Where is it going now? Two, two. You know what? We don't have. Oh, no, we have. Okay. All right. This pina colada recipe is a two is a two two recipe. And what do I mean by two two recipe? It's two ounces of each ingredient. Okay. Um. So I have my little shaker here. Um. I gotta assemble it. In here, put that like that, and just like that. There we go. Okay, I'm in the show, everyone can see and hear me. Yeah, all right. So, pina coladas you make with coconut cream, pineapple juice. 
Rum. 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 <laughs> Coconut cream, pineapple juice, white rum, a little squeeze of lemon to take down. You know, it, it, the contrast is what deepens the flavor. Um, I am going to leave the rum out of his, but like, these people have been making two different batches of pina colada all the way. Um, I need to turn these things over here first. So, I can turn them. So, see me here now. Get a little brown on the side. I flip it over. This could have brown a little bit more though. Little pieces brown up. So this side I'll do for three minutes. So we get a good set of crispies and stuff. Good. Yeah. All right. So pina colada, the people them say. Um. So we need rum. This is the white rum that we have. It is a Haitian rum, barbancourt white. Um, it's a little bit smoother than Ray and Nephew. Ray and Nephew often doesn't necessarily mix so well in in cocktails like this because it's it, it harsh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. And then. We got this cream of coconut. We also have this cream of coconut. Um, and pineapple juice. Uh huh. I have my little, whatever you call this. Um, so what we put first. We'll put rum first. So we just do a two-two ratio. Right. Two I have thing. One. Two. Two of these. Actually, it should be three of these because I feel like. Mm. All right, and then two of this again, two pineapple juice. saying that it is time to take out the pork and put a new batch so we have to put this on pause okay come over here again we'll put these guys on this so we get a nice little brown i think you kind of seen yeah some of that it's also popping up and getting me in my face <laughs> be careful All right, so that's one batch. We're starting another one. And I think good brown comes from three minutes. So we'll do this batch in three minutes. I 
I think we can get this done in three batches. I go to Mr. Dread and we come back to shop. Sometimes you're cooking up and you think that's not going to take long. Five hours later, you're still in the kitchen. <laughs> I can't story of my life, you know. This is not going to take long at all. So what, what are you making with that? What is the, the pairing with the um the pork? Which pair? What do you mean? Is it a one pot meal? Yeah, it's just the um so you put potatoes and white hominy in it and you eat it with the like it's a stew. So it's a, it's, it's kinda soupy. It's not like a thick thick soup. Oh okay. So you, um you put it in with Alice must forget the lime. Yeah. Get the lime That's a quick fix. Yeah. Yes, sir. We couldn't get my bartender work. But I go back to the people and give me back a glass. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because if you're doing a lot of things, if that was the only thing you were doing, you would have remembered. On the lime, right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> right in front of me. Lisa soon come up on him and say she like pina colada too. Oh, she's there. Oh, she going to sleep. Good. Maybe pina colada we done by the time she wakes up. <laughs> Harrison come upstairs so she escaped. She get that. She and Harrison did that far. Oh, okay. You got an unfiltered Italian white wine from the Piedmont. Ah, uh, okay. So you can see it's kind of cloudy because it's unfiltered. Yeah. Uh, you could get him to kind of read a little bit maybe in right? You might get in a day. In a crazy phase now, like when we wake up at 7 o'clock. Where's my notes? On the iPad that I'm using. Oh. With the recipe. There you go. Thank you. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm going to show Alice in there. <laughs> ah, I see. Fitting, fitting, fitting. Okay, what's the hair? Everything glass, so wait. Pour one for myself. Oh no, no battery mode. Please plug in your phone. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do that in just a second. Let me. Oh, Alright, how is the owner appreciate that? That's. I come in, I went to get my arm. Um, you're using my your terrible strength. Okay. Harrison, come here. Let's tell Auntie Allison about your career as a DJ. You want to tell Auntie Allison about being a DJ? Come on. Come up here. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, tell Auntie Allison about your DJ. Oh. You ready? Stand up. <laughs> Hello, lovely. <laughs> okay, tell Auntie Allison about DJ. You mash up the place as a DJ? You mash up the place? Okay. Alright. I've got the parkour here, you yeah? know? Okay. <laughs> so it's gonna turn some of it on now. My man awake from seven o'clock, from before seven o'clock. No nap. 
No, I'm not really not buying anymore. No, so. It's about to explode. About to. <laughs> it's ready. And the one, one making peanut colada with one whip of sugar in it. Well, you know that when he goes to sleep, he'll be out. Like, you can lift up your house with him in the night and he won't move. No, usually, like, by the time Andy starts sing, stand by your man. You come out, he's done. Yeah. What's up? What's full of stuff? I can come back to my thing. Show daddy. He's out now. Show daddy. Find him, find something. Mommy, I find him. You didn't hide it very well. Where did you hide it? On top of. On top of. Uh, so we we've, we've taken the um. There is an Avenger storybook that that we took away because there were some things like in imagination wasn't quite processing some things. So we take it away, but we put it on top of the bookcase where outside and the bathroom. And we just kind of slide it in behind. And as soon as he come up from school, then I walk out and room here. Why's my book up there? Can't drink me. Can't drink the girl, Jerry. <laughs> my book, my book is up there. The boy never look up there in my life, you know, Alison. He never have no reason to look on top of the bookshelf in my life. Mommy will tell you because I'm my child, so me always find things. <laughs> exactly, excuse me. Exactly. All right, I'm not going to move the phone. I'm just going to go over here because we are plugged in. Let me turn it this way. Right. You want to... Batch number two. Getting a little bit of caramel on the bottom. Getting some nice brown. Ooh. Once this settles in the pot, it's gonna it's gonna have to like cook for a half hour and then like another half hour. So um if you want it to sign off and then come back when we do the other parts, um, so that we don't have like dead air or or whatever, but we have like we have time in between processes. As in with this dish? Yeah. So we have like we have like a 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes I'm going to add the potato and the hominy and it's going to cook for another 30 minutes. So, okay. so maybe if you want go, go, go on a commercial break for the first 30 and then the next one after me figure out the gizada if they're gonna make the gizada. Oh so you would do the second part, you would do the gizada in the second part if you're gonna do it. Yeah. Like it would, and they do the gizada and finish up the pork stew. Okay, in the second part. Okay. Yeah. Does that sound okay? Hmm. So you just like so say what? No, no, no. Just I mean, I, I listen to what you're saying. Oh. Yeah. And let me ask if that sounds okay. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, anything, anything goes. I mean, we just, you just, I just have to, to, to. I think, I mean, if once it end the broadcast, this broadcast would be finished. So I'd right. have to just resend the the invite. Right. Yeah. Like you know, like when we did the parties, we did kind of do it like that. Right, exactly. Yeah, because what we are going to do in an half hour. <laughs> so, okay, so has the half an hour started yet? No, man. Okay. No, I'm just, it's a, it's a, it's a pre plan. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was time to break for the half hour. Oh, well, just like, yeah, that's what we know. And then we just wrap up this and say, so we'll, you know, we'll be back for part two, part you know, two. In, in 30 minutes or whatever, 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, and then maybe I will make the Kizaros. I have to do some investigation. I feel like I could make them because I bought the, I bought the shredded coconut, um, and I just need we just need to cook down that a little bit, um, so I could start cooking it down, and then. I don't know if I can make them. No. Wait, wait, wait. Me and me can shape them. Shape is that? It's not supposed to be perfect. Mommy. You're not, you not supposed to... Mommy, when you're a shape gizzard, you're not just pinch it. not just pinch. I don't know. I don't know. Symmetry. Or anything like that. No, it's a finite. It's a finite. It's a man. All right. So after we brown this, um, so it wants me to discard the fat that's in the pot. Then I heat the remaining, I do the onions and the chilies. So basically what we're going to have left to do in this session is we're going to cook the vegetables, the chilies. So I have here, um, wait, let me get that. This is <laughs> red and green pepper, red and green sweet pepper. Um, the Anaheim chilies, like you saw when 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 we signed on. Uh, onions. This is two onions, two small onions. The recipe calls for one large one, so I just cut up two small ones. Yeah. And um, garlic. Uh -huh. So we're gonna cook these vegetables. Um, and then put the pork in, and then that going cook for a half hour. Okay. Um, and during that time, we will figure out the Gizada story, mm. and um, and then we come back and do the next step. So the next step after that half hour is you put in the um the potatoes, mm -hmm. and so potatoes are in it. Too. So like you did ask if it's a one pot, the potatoes kind of make it a one pot. Mm -hmm. We put the potatoes and then white hominy, um, the corn, and then it cooks for another half hour. And then after that, you put like your cornstarch to thicken it up and reduce the water and, and it done. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Um, so that one should be about another hour, hour um, segment. Okay. And by hour, usually we just mean like if I'm here, I do it three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll get some help. Um, okay. Put this. Get this chair out of the kitchen. You dry? This one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Put this in the sink. For mask, what to do? Yes. All navy masks are very comfortable. How much for them? Five dollar. 
No, I said before what twenty five dollars for ten packs or thirty bucks. Oh, they come in packs. Okay. Yeah, twenty five for ten packs. They're comfortable. But they keep riding up over my eyes. This one I have to go into the wash now. show you browned um mm -hmm. and then now we're going to go back over there so and do the it wants me to pour off the oil off of, off of what we just did pour off the fat it's not a lot i'm surprised i thought there would be more um pour that off and then Put another tablespoon of vegetable oil. And start working on the vegetables. You're making emails for me? Look at this email. It was. Was it a paper based email? Yeah. Here is my email. Thank you. All right. My email, does it, what does it say? Does it say something? Oh, all of my technology battery are run out. Okay, <laughs> you don't charge them. I don't charge them. Okay, you don't charge them. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Onions, chili peppers, bell peppers, garlic. Seven minutes. So everything we're making up here, so that's definitely going in now. All right. So I'm going to put all of these guys. Onions. Garlic. Bell peppers, chili peppers, Kailora. Yeah, the antelope for sure. Yeah. Pot is very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty pot. Look at that. Yes, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. So while we are doing this too, because of the, the liquid that's coming off, it's deglazing the pan a little bit. Mm -hmm. the, brown, the brown stuff that was kind of stuck on from cooking the pork is coming up. Mm -hmm. Second rule. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, what's very cool here is so there's a little bit of stuff on the bottom from the meat. I'm 
little bit of brown process that is coming up from the with the moisture from the from the vegetables. Mm -hmm. yes. So this is this lovely melange of things. Mm -hmm. It smells nice. And then we cook that until it's a little translucent for seven minutes. And then after that, we I believe we add the pork. I believe we add yeah return pork to the pot along with the chicken broth um well, if I wonder if we have chicken broth. <laughs> no you ask that question you should your host has everything <laughs> sometimes the chicken broth and do you know you have a white wine in here right yeah All right, I found maybe about a half cup. I need four. How are we, how are we to back in order? All right. No, wait, we're out. We're out. We're out. I wasn't doubtful at all. <laughs> Sometimes we have things. Sometimes we have improvised, like the time. Hey, when did you know, hear about the time when we did make the um? The, 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 the biscuits, the dinner rolls, but never have no flour. So, what did you do for flour? Uh, cornmeal and masa harina. Hmm. Brawls is what we ended up calling bread rolls. <laughs> okay. Brawls, bread rolls. Bread rolls. Yeah. Biscuit, sorry. Biscuit rolls. Biscuit rolls. Biscuit roll. There were supposed to be jalapeno cheddar biscuits or jalapeno cheddar rolls, but I didn't have enough flour. I needed like six cups of flour and I had one. Oh. <laughs> I still have some frozen in the freezer. Somewhat. Oh, we could have, we can't. No, tortillas. tortillas. The whole point was to use the tortillas. Yeah, the point was to use the tortillas. You're right, you're right. All right. So, a good thing about this partnership that Andy and I have is that as I cook and go along, he comes in and wash up the dishes. Oh, that helps. Yeah. So, I know what Olipa. Dirty yeah. leave. I tried to do that with mommy, but she always run me out because the things that I'm watching, she's reusing she's them or using, using them. <laughs> so she run me out. You have to learn it. You have to learn it. You have to learn it. You have to learn the movements. <laughs> also, like, you have, to, you, have to, you have to train her to, like, if you finish with that thing and you want it washed, put it in the sink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So like me just pack everything when dirty now, me just move it and pack it over there so, so I know that is a designated dirty, dirty things place. Mm. My mom attacked me, so you know. You don't know what you want to draw? What did you draw before? Seven minutes. Three minutes, three minutes. Medium low. Oh no, this is right. Sit me not put the vegetable then too fast. The last time I did it, what I did was I used one of the big skillets and I just fried all the pork at the same time. Mm, okay. And then did this part with the sauteing of the vegetables, um, did it in the instant pot. And then instead of that half hour, it would be a five minute, five, wait, let me see. 
Yeah. So instead of a half hour, it would be like a five minute pressure. And you do something else and then you put on a five minute pressure. Okay. And so it would have gone faster. Um, but there's a lot of liquid, as you know, at the end of of our pressure cooking process. And um, sometimes you have to cook the pork and saute some more. You can get rid of it, but you have to cook it longer to get rid mm -hmm. of it. Right. Um, so let me just say, but like the more may I look and the more way I go, may I, may not, may not feel like this is the most efficient way to do. I feel like the pressure cooker is a... Is that a better idea? Eh? Better idea? Yeah, because it's faster, you know? Yeah. I thought you would have used something that would have been faster. Mm, cause then we don't we not really have to spend the whole day. Um well a lot of this too was um yeah, because I could have I could have browned the, the, the meat and the and the and the vegetables at the same time because we're doing it in the two different we don't know me to just let me do that the whole day. But no but no at four o'clock. <laughs> I mean, you could you could shorten it by doing that. Oh, well, Lisa, go. Lisa, come upstairs with our bag. Where you go? Yeah. Don't get the, the vet is not for your nails here. <laughs> she yeah, she kind of slipping around a lot. It's elastic, you know what I mean? You're not wearing elastic. Your t-shirt? Oh, your shorts? It's my underwear. <laughs> yeah, belong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. What are you using to, to, to do this? Your phone or your iPad? My phone. Oh, okay. Why? Because it's interesting that when you stream, I don't hear, like, there's a crackling interference that I get when I stream in with Lisa sometimes. I'm starting to hear it a little bit. Now, I'm not hearing it at all. I wasn't so. hearing it before, but, yeah, I've heard the one with Lisa's. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the, um, maybe it's not the phone. Maybe it's the, it was the technology on those days. Maybe. Maybe. So we're adding everything on this plate. Mm -hmm. And we're going to also add, um, we're going to also add some chicken broth. Kadeen says, gonna, hey. Eh? Kadeen says, hey. Hello, Kadeen. <laughs> How goes it? She's at work. She just got She's to work. Eastern. Yeah, don't, 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 don't come. Well. You know, it's very problematic of how, how, how the media and the government treating the country, you know? The country area. <laughs> Poor cooks. Yeah. There's obviously more COVID in the corporate area, but... Them playing it down. But them are really a lockdown now in a corporate area, like me see on the lockdown country, so... Not that locking down country is a bad thing, because, you know, you want to get the thing under control... If there's a problem, but if you have a disparity in how you're managing the public health crisis that is based on where people live, that not going to make it. Well, I'll be going to say, if you're thinking about acquiring any lands over here in St. Thomas, now is the time. Me say. Somebody post one picture, somebody from my Facebook. Uptown, somebody post one picture from um from up uh, a four cups. I listen, this look like wally for liquid. Um it will, remember it's pork, you know, so it's going to take a while and it will, it will come down. Yeah. Um post a picture from up at the dark. And let me tell you, say trying these out from Morgan's Creek. Let me tell you, say, Prado Park up way over down the river, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an official attraction now. I mean, I wonder if a St. Thomas people have COVID or if all of these people who come into St. Thomas because it's now the new hip tourist area. 
at me I tell you, I, that you that well, Kadeen is saying poor management. Well, I mean, you people them just want to collect the money. Yeah, I mean, I really think so. I should have taken it from the people them who are trying to run a hustle upon the front because I, I feel them one from time, right? And if them see that to get popular, it, it's the same thing with Spanish Bridge, right? Where do you them got Spanish, Spanish Bridge? Bridge coming like school. a school, you know. Eh? The Spanish bridge mm -hmm. coming like school, you know, like a hundred people, like minimum a hundred. Um, the last time we went, it was terrible. And you know what happened to Spanish bridge yet? It nice. It's very nice when it's five people. Not five hundred. Not five hundred. Yes, so when it rum, the last time we went. Oh my goodness! I gotta show Alice, Auntie Alice, in the poop. Come. What? You drew some poop. Oh wow, Picasso! I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go up there. The last time we went up there, um, and I want to say maybe it was a Saturday, so that was also a mistake. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, like right now, any day is a mistake because because, because nobody knows where I go right now. <laughs> exactly. Um, so any day, any day, like any time, like the, the government opens up for a little bit, everybody flock the attraction. But that is our culture. We are an experiential culture. We are events like we have to just out. We can't. You can't lock way up too long, or else we're gonna have cabin fever, which is happening with a lot of people right now. I don't think I don't think people a lot of people are taking it as seriously as they should because well, of the, they, they I think they're treating it like the flu where yeah okay so I'm gonna catch the flu I'll recover yeah you don't really know about in the long term um what's the and and the 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 the, the, the government update the ministry updates us on the recovery rates as well so the recovery rates are high as well so people not really you know, not really taking it as serious as yeah, they but you should. recover from covid but i think you remember the chick v business right and the zika how much people have um gb syndrome after neurological problems like mm -hmm. sure you don't have covid symptoms anymore but what does covid do to your internal organs and your systems like you just you don't know we're not we're not thinking about that we're not thinking about that like one of my friends i mean i got me not go um and i got calling me because privacy and whatever but one of my friends him, him did get the um he did get the zika and it, it him immune system mash up in the and no more immune system again mm. it, it done like if breeze blow, if breeze blow and 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 and, and one little grain of a, a cold virus in it, it mash up for weeks. <laughs> Strapping strong somebody. Mm. So anyway, this is where we are. So this is where we take the break? Yeah. This is this is what pot currently. We're mm -hmm. gonna put that on a low simmer for a half hour. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we can come back. All right. So this is part one with Sherry Flavor Profile episode twelve. We are at part one, the end of part one, because we're gonna need a little bit of a break to for the the, the, the pork to stew. So we'll come back. Sherry may be making some gizadas as well as finishing up the stew pork. Maybe she'll make some gizadas. We don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll see. We don't, know. we don't know so um come back in about what 30 minutes 30 minutes yeah in about 30 minutes we'll start again with the second part of the the, the show and until then i'm alison nanny cherry later later <laughs>